I'd rather be in bed sleeping. But it is the first day of Ramadan. As you can tell by the title of this video. And we're kicking it off with Sahur. Right now, I've got strawberries, pancakes, and some bananas. I want to make this quickly so that I can pray for Jed and go back to bed because I am tired. Absolutely tired. good morning today is ramadan day one and as you can see i just woken up made my bed came to brush my teeth and now i'm gonna shower and then pick something to wear i need to film some content for some brands and um, that i'm working with so yeah guys obviously i don't want to give you too much too much but just spend the day with me and see how we get on please make sure you like and subscribe and also share over on instagram right now as i told you guys in the previous video we've just announced our giveaway of the 150 pounds worth of beauty products so please do not miss out make sure you head over to the instagram it will literally be linked below and all the requirements on how to enter will also be attached below but yeah guys i am ready for the day let's get started okay guys so i just came out of the shower is anybody else like this like you're just meant to shower and then all of a sudden you've decided to wash your hair as well so literally that's what i ended up doing right now i'm going to do my skincare routine i like to use this for my face just because it really helps with my hyperpigmentation as well as like any clogged pores i have along here i obviously um i'm somebody who suffers with pcos meaning that i still get like cystic acne i deal with a lot of hyperpigmentation on my cheeks um excessive hair growth as well so these are the things well what i'm going to show you is what i use to just manage my skin and it's getting there but sometimes it can really get me down and get on my nerves but yeah let's just do the skincare <music> This hopefully is going to help you go out. And I like to lather like quite a thick part of it on. By Ordinary and it is the Brightening Serum with the Vitamin C. Put it on my chin area here. A, literally a little bit there and it ends when filming. And yeah, that's that. You don't want to go too heavy with this because you don't want to irritate your skin or strip it. And then last but not least. Oh, actually we've got one more step. I like to do this. I think it's La Roche Pose. I hope I've gotten it right. And it's Factor 58 sunscreen. And I like to put on a lot of that. Guys, I think my phone is blowing up because of the... Um, our Ramadan giveaway was literally just announced. So if you haven't entered, make sure you're entering. It's like 150 pounds worth of beauty stuff. And then lastly, what I like to use is this. And I think you pronounce it Gisu, Gisu, Gisu. You guys let me know in the comments. I'm the worst at pronouncing names. And it's honey infused lip oil. And I absolutely love this. Like, guys, if there's anything you need, like this Ramadan, make sure this is what you get. You know, the dehydrated lips. You can't really, like, drink or anything. So, my lips especially, with not drinking, is the first thing to start cracking. So, let's like put that on. So, I just finished drying my hair. Came into my beauty room to get ready. And... I forgot the mess that I've been leaving it in all week. Like I've been leaving things bit by bit scattered everywhere. I don't even think like me saying it like is doing it justice. I know behind there, just like behind me, sorry, doesn't look that bad. But 
if you see the room but we're gonna clean this first. i'm gonna well tidy in here first and then i'm gonna go make wudu then i'm gonna pray and then come and do my makeup yeah that sounds like a better plan all right so guys clean with me this is gonna be sped up just so i can you know get it over and done with <laughs> my beauty room is now clean alhamdulillah all i'm gonna do is give it a hoover but i don't have time to do that right now because i've got a lot of things to do today and um, that i still haven't done so that i put myself in a good routine so i can get the most out of the day so what i'm gonna go do now is make all those so i can pray and then i'm gonna come in and then do my makeup quickly and yeah let's get a move on i'm getting ready to pray now and i thought i'd show you guys my personalized prayer mat from islamic gift london i think it is they sent me this and as you can see it has my name here at the top and then it's black and white and also as well i'm wearing my prayer dress by dal women and um, they create loads of abaya thobes um moroccan thobes as well and the prayer dress is like their new release so Thank you so much for sending it to me, Dolls Women, because honestly, I absolutely love it so far. I used it this morning for Fajr, and now I'm going to use it again. It's easy, it's breathable, it's movable, and also it's great for my height. I'm about 5 foot 8, and it lands perfectly, like, right at the top part of my feet, which is great. So, yeah, guys, let's, let me not delay my prayers. Let me just carry on. Okay guys, I'm starting my makeup and now this one wants to show up. And annoy her. Oh actually I can't. It's from my van. Let no. I'll make, make it such a calm, beautiful, relaxing month for you, my beautiful wife. Mmm. Guys, that? he always comes in here when I'm doing my makeup. That is the time he comes to annoy me. Okay guys, I just finished my makeup. Something cute simple and to the point i'm gonna go downstairs now um i've also gotta carry on doing the voiceovers 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 are a lot harder than i thought it's my first time doing a voiceover um for like a vlog sort of like video so yeah it's proving a little bit difficult so i need to go downstairs and be doing the voiceovers whilst i'm cooking at the same time so let's get downstairs i'm going to be making kebsa today lamb kebsa i'm also going to be making tuna and cheese samosas along with some salad a little garlic homemade sauce and then i'm gonna be making apple crumble and custard for dessert possibly with some ice cream but we don't have any um and i don't know if i can be asked to go to morrison's or whatever so might just use what we have and just use custard instead so yeah let's go downstairs and start preparing okay so firstly before i can start cooking the lamb i have to watch up our dishes from what we had from sahur so i'm gonna do that first I've got my meat in the sink right now and it's just soaking in some water and I'm cutting some lemon just to clean it. You have to clean your meat and wash it guys. Like, mm -mm. Literally two pieces there I'm putting in the water and then I'm going to do another half as well. Just for my meat to be extra clean. There, I'm just going to put this piece in just like that and I'm gonna leave that to soak you'd think I'd be immune to it by now but I just chopped up six onions and my eyes are burning
okay so next i've added my tomatoes as well as some tomato puree and i'm just mixing it up all together and now i'm going to add some hot water to it okay guys so i just added my hot water to my meat and i'm literally gonna let that simmer now for like the next two hours so currently the meat is just simmering away it's gonna take about two hours roughly as i stated i just took out my tuna samosas out of the freezer i'm literally there's about six in here and another six in here so 12 in total so i'm only gonna make them along with the kebza and now i need to get started on my chutney um i need to also get started on my garlic sauce as well so let's do those next i'm just taking these out just to defrost okay so the annoying thing just happened you know when you're cooking and then you want to cook something and you realize you don't have everything in order to cook what you need to cook okay so i don't have any coriander or um what's it called i'm trying to think okay mainly i don't have any coriander for my chutney so now i can't make that i'm really annoyed because i like to use coriander for my chutney um so i'm gonna have to leave that instead let's just make um the garlic sauce i'm gonna make like a pepe style sort of thing so i'm gonna get all of the ingredients out of the fridge guys that is it i also added four tablespoons of mayo and that is absolutely it it absolutely looks amazing i cannot wait to have it along with the kebsa and the samosas okay now what i'm gonna do i'm literally just gonna empty the garlic mayo in this little star dish here i absolutely love this bowl again if you haven't watched my whole video go check it out because i got this from home bargains now my garlic sauce is cut, I'm gonna get on to soaking my rice so it's ready for when I need to start boiling it. There's about an hour left on the meat, so let's do that now. So I like to do about three cups, so because that's way more than enough for us, and um, because it's only for my husband, my sister and myself and then we're gonna have like samosas on the side as well and a little bit of salad so yeah that's more than enough okay here it is soaking and i'm gonna leave that for the remaining of the hour until the meat's done guys i'm absolutely stressing because right about now we're trying to edit the decor video as well as i'm trying to make sure my lamb is tenderizing for my kebza as well as i'm trying to put my rice on and my samosas and guess what time it is it's quarter past six we break fast in like what how many minutes in 15 minutes Inshallah. this is what happens when men do not listen to you hey, things you end up riling up he weren't busy guys he was just annoying me but yeah inshallah we get it done uh if anything we'll probably just break off us with some date and some samosas and then when the cups is ready it's ready inshallah. because this one hey. okay guys so i'm still cooking so i'm just gonna well i broke my fast already with a date and now i'm gonna have a samosa because i'm hungry this with that tuna and cheese absolutely love these Masha'Allah, babe. I can't wait to eat. It looks stunning. Look at that, guys. Kapsa. Oh, look at that. Masha'Allah. Tabarakallah. Bismillah.
Okay, guys, we're going to end the video now. We're super, super hungry, so we're going to eat. Um, inshallah, tomorrow, I'll try to do some things that are a little bit more interesting. It's just because I'm trying to get a whole foot in on this whole um, daily vlogging sort of thing. And also, as well, I've got, like, PR things that I needed to do today that I didn't get a chance to do. My dissertation still ain't done. <laughs> so, yeah. That's but going for time. Anything to but say, mate? Inshallah, she'll get it done this Ramadan. Yeah, inshallah. inshallah. Till then, have a good Ramadan and peace out. See you guys tomorrow. Assalamu.